Benjamin said to the Father, do you have a mass for our Lord Jesus Christ, the eternal high priest? The Lord has sworn an oath that will not change. The Lord preach forever according to the word of our God. Good morning, everyone. And good afternoon, everyone, for watching in the afternoon. Uh, today, our mass intention is for Nicola Lando. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, you have heard our sins for the sake of history. It is the moment now to call to mind our sins. To all my brothers, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done, what I failed to do, in my fault, in my fault, in my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mother of the Virgin, our Lady of the Saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, who pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Today, as we celebrate the Mass for our Lord Jesus Christ, the eternal high priest, we are to be alike in this Mass. Let us pray. O God, who for your glory and the salvation of the human race will to establish Christ, the eternal high priest, grant the people he has gained for you by his blood, may through his participation in his memorial experience the power of his cross and resurrection. He lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. Such is my gospel for which I am suffering, even to the point of change. The word of God is not changed. Therefore, I bear with everything for the sake of those who are chosen, so that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus, together with eternal glory. The saying is trustworthy. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we persevere, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful. He cannot deny himself. Remind people of these things and charge them before God to stop disputing about words. This serves no useful purpose since it harms those who listen. To even to present yourself as acceptable to God, a workman who causes no disgrace in fighting the word of truth about creation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Teach me your ways, O Lord. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy for those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him, and his covenant will be their instruction. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to life through the gospel. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your and with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this: you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The 
scribes have been well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is the one, and there is no other than He. And to love Him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. But when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, today, it's interesting to me, Describe who um, is asking Jesus this question, and you know, often when questions are posed to Jesus, um, it's usually very trick questions uh, because uh, certain people wanted to, uh, you know, trip Jesus up or to, uh, you know, uh, cause confusion so others would, would follow him. But I think this scribe though was very sincere. He was trying to um, find. Establishment ranking amongst the commandments. Uh, first, it talks about what is the main law, right? But also, what he's trying to uh, do is uh, deal with some of this question about the law. And this question is what is the highest rank of the Ten Commandments? And uh, what is this all about? And Jesus, of course, uses uh, something that the people of Israel follow. Shema, it's a great prayer. You should love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love with your whole being. But the other part of it is this, and Jesus said you should love your neighbor as yourself, meaning that love of God and love of neighbor are equal. Both are the same. And that's really what our attitude is. As disciples are called to be, we should love the Lord with all our heart, our whole being, and also love our neighbor as ourselves. So what the Lord is saying is that religious behavior is defined as relationship with God and one's neighbor, and human behavior is defined as relationship with others and with God. You know, St. Augustine said this, love God and do whatever you please. Love God and love the others, and all the rest will be a consequence of this greatness and grandeur of love. And so we see how this bride understands it. And basically, you know, um, the scriptures say, you know, it's not sacrifices and burnt offerings that I desire. It's the body you have to prepare for me. In other words, our whole being, our whole being for God, but also our whole being for one another. You know, God means truth, goodness, and generous dedication to others. And that's really what it is. You know, we can offer things to the Lord, but it has to have a double meaning. You can't just pray and then all of a sudden have hatred towards someone or um, abuse others or. Uh, treat others, it's not right. Now, if there are people we don't like, then I think we can be with Jesus to pray for them. I don't have to be everybody's friend, but at least pray for grace, to respect. Uh, you know, that's what love is, to respect, to honor, to at least see in this person that God is present in them. You know, Mother Teresa, uh, when she was helping the poor, the dying, she did it as an attitude of Christ was in that person. So, Really, to hold the hand of a dying person is really to hold the hand of the dying Jesus within them. And that's what it's all about charity. More than just feeling, more than just an act, but it's really what it's all about. Love is what love does. And so it's you know, we're putting it to measure, we're putting it to action, not to pretend. So over the last week, we've seen how love hasn't been put out very well, uh, the violence, you know, the burning of George Floyd, of course, but also you know, other reactions for it. Violence begins violence. You know, Jesus said, all who live by the sword and die by the sword. Today, we need to think about what can we do to love our neighbor even more? Who is our neighbor? Anyone that God puts into our, you know, in our, uh, you know, in our eyesight. Of them, to love them, to serve them. And to do that, we can do it for God. We need to ask Mother Teresa St. Teresa Calcutta to help us with that and pray for peace of our country, uniting love, uniting uh, feeling, and 
uniting in strength. Jesus, we have our actions, our policies, and laws based on God's actions. And to love God is to love others. To love others is to love God. When we love others and love God, ultimately we'll be like the disciple. We will not be far from the like the scribe. We will not be far from Sisters, we offer our prayers on behalf of our parish, our community, and our world. We pray for our nation in light of all the strife and in light of all the demonstrations and protests and riots that the Lord's peace and healing would come upon us. We pray for war in our land, that justice would be established across our land in our United States, but across the world as well. In all situations, no matter race, color, or creed, we pray. Lord, we are on the land. We pray for our leaders, leaders of our government, our president, uh, we pray for our governor, our mayor, our uh, town supervisors, uh, we pray for our bishop God, our bishop Francis, uh, the uh, good brother of the church, of course, that God will guide them to make right decisions of loving God and neighbor. We pray for them. Lord, we are on the land. We pray for all those who died of the COVID 19. Suffering from COVID 19, may they be in healing. The families who are part of it, that God would bring them healing and strength, we pray for them. Lord, we are on the land. And for Nicola Lamberti, on this Mass, and also for all those who have died who have gone before us. And also, on another Mass today, before our first responders of COVID 19, God would bless them. We pray for the Lord. Lord, we are on the land. For all the prayers we hold in the silence. We mourn the loss of Monsignor Juan Sose, Claire McCarthy, Manuel Sanchez, Teresa Marquette, Catherine Arias, mother of Reverend Christy, Monsignor Sose, and Christian Catherine, Lord, we pray. We pray for the Lord. Lord, we are on the land. Heavenly Father, we ask that you help us and guide us and to increase our love for others, not just in doing, but in action, and not just in saying, but in doing. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, who here gives and receive the bread we offer you, from the earth or from your hands, to come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, who here gives and receive the wine we offer you, from the vine, or from your hands, to become our spiritual gift. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks.
thanks to the Holy Father, alive to eternal God through Christ our Lord. Throughout the Last Supper, with his apostles establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself for you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy with the human race, bounded by one world, and enlightened by one faith, united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth, singing the song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and with God end, we pray. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all things. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and grimly into his fashion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will give it up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, forgiveness of sins. For this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, we know his word is being your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that we take of the body of your Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, which you spread throughout the world and which the fullness of charity and grants us our Pope, John our bishops, the bishops, and all the Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection of the dying of the Lord. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. The blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who blesses with the spouse, the blessed apostles, the St. Ignatius of Loyola, and all the saints who preach you throughout the ages, and we merit to be co with you to the life and praise glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil, wish to grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, and we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Live not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grace you grant the peace and union in accordance with your will to reign ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. The Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed was called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Antiphon, again, for our Lord Jesus Christ, the eternal high priest. This is the body that will be given up for you. This is the chalice of the new covenant in my blood, says the Lord. Do this whenever you receive it in memory of me. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Taking in this sacrifice which your son commanded to be offered in his memory, <coughs> you may make us together with him an everlasting oblation to you. Through Christ our Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. Just a few announcements. This Saturday, we'll be offering confession out in the prayer garden. Um, you know, we are uh, told that we really can't have the confession in the confessional because of the coronavirus and the threat of it. So, uh, this Saturday from 3 to 5, Brother John and I will be there in the garden. Uh, we'll have you separated from somebody there to make sure that they're at least six feet away and also in standing and waiting for confession. So, we invite you, please, if you can, to join us in confession this Saturday. Probably coming back to that uh, from 3 to 5 p.m. Also, uh, on the 14th, which is the um, feast and Sunday of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ, or Corpus Christi, we're going to bless our First Holy Communicants. We invite anyone to First Holy Communicant who would have received already, but will receive again, hoping in the fall uh, to come and to dress up in the uh, suit or dress, whatever you would wear for the First Holy Communion with the blessing and also to have a picture as well that's alongside the Blessed Mother. That's at 12.30 on the 14th of June. So we invite you for that as well. We also pray for Our Lady of Assumption Parish Church in Copeg. 
to inspire them in the auditorium, to become debtors, coach it, push it, uh, and his team, his staff, uh, the people he knows, of course, uh, we pray for them and uh, for those that help them to be good. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.